Why is Sony so obsessed with Call of Duty? It has become evident that the fear Sony has of Microsoft acquiring Activision Blizzard is growing each and every day. Welcome back to the channel and to another video. This is DadMod Gaming. I am Cullen Bango, and in this video, I'll be talking about why Sony is focused on Call of Duty and Call of Duty alone in the ongoing saga that is Microsoft's acquisition of Activision Blizzard. Let's get into this. What did Microsoft do recently? Okay. They offered deals to Nintendo, 10 year deal. They offered a deal to Nvidia, okay, for GeForce Now, 10 year deal, okay? Both companies accepted that offer. So there's Microsoft extending an olive branch to these companies and saying, hey, you want Call of Duty on your platform? We'll make it happen if we acquire Activision Blizzard, okay? They did that to show good faith, okay? That they're willing to, you know, have everybody remain competitive, which is a good thing. And it's isolating Sony because Sony does not want this to happen whatsoever. Okay, they do not want Microsoft to acquire Activision simply because of Call of Duty. I'm going to get into that in a second on why. But Microsoft making these moves with Nintendo and NVIDIA isolates Sony. And Microsoft already offered them a 10-year deal for Call of Duty. And they said no. They said no, thank you. We don't accept that. Okay. Sony's had the marketing rights to Call of Duty for a number of years now. I mean, hey. I even bought into the marketing rights. I have PlayStation. I like, you know, the games on PlayStation. I was I was a PlayStation guy before an Xbox guy, okay? That wasn't good enough for Sony, but why does Sony care so much about Call of Duty? Why do they why do they want Call of Duty so bad? All right. It's kind of a rhetorical question. I mean, look at Call of Duty, look at the sales, look how many people play it, okay? It's a, you got Warzone now, you got the DMZ mode now. You open up Call of Duty and it is a catalog of games to play. All right? Who wouldn't want it? I mean, I know it's kind of a rhetorical question. But why is Sony making that big of a deal about Call of Duty? So, Sony has, you know, God of War. They've got Ratchet and Clank. They've got Gran Turismo. They've got, you know, the list goes on and on. Okay, they try to get Forspoken out the door. They have these single player IPs that are great games. I have all these games. I play all these games. It's the reason why I buy PlayStation. Okay, I buy everything else on Xbox. I control it better on Xbox. It's just it is what it is. Okay, but Sony's first party games are unbelievable. They really are. You can't say that they're not. But why do they care about Call of Duty so much? It's got to be about the money has to be i thought that initially when this first came about okay even when microsoft first announced this deal a year ago i was like oh i said to myself sony's not gonna like this they're gonna lose too much money that's the first thought i had okay and if you have these games that sell i mean look at god of war god of war sold what 10 million copies 11 million copies right it's not even nowhere close to call of duty Okay, but Microsoft has get uh, Microsoft Sony has games that do that. Okay, their first party games produce revenue, but how much revenue do they really produce? Microsoft wants to know. Microsoft wants to know what kind of uh, what kind of you know exclusivity deals you have. Okay, another thought just came to mind. Sony just acquired Bungie, right? So is Microsoft going to be privy to that information too? Do they possibly want to know, you know, what they got going on with Bungie, right? Sony likes to play the card that's, oh, woe is me. I, uh, you know, you take Call of Duty away. It's not fair to, you know, gamers on, on PlayStation. You know, you're, 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 you're squashing competition. Microsoft turns around and says, okay, 10-year deal for Call of Duty. 10-year uh, deal um, to get Call of Duty on Nintendo. 10 years to NVIDIA, right? We offered it to Sony. They offered it to Sony first, okay? And uh, Sony said no. 
Okay, why does Sony care so much? Call of Duty has got to be a cash cow for them. It has to be. Okay, they're not going to make a big deal about this if it doesn't affect their wallet. Bottom line. Bottom line. That's why they're making a big deal about Activision. They don't care anything. You know what? Let me say this. They don't even care about Activision. They don't care about King. They don't care about uh, Blizzard. Okay, they care about Call of Duty. Okay? If Joe Schmo owned Call of Duty, they care about Joe Schmo. Okay? It has to be producing some, you know, an, ex an exuberant amount of revenue for them to care this much about Call of Duty because the most interesting thing I found, maybe it's not in this article, maybe it's in another article I read, but Phil Spencer came out and said, flat out, if we don't acquire Activision Blizzard, Xbox will be okay. We'll be okay. Xbox will survive. Okay, and then I hear other rumors that Microsoft is looking to sell Xbox if they don't acquire Activision Blizzard. Microsoft and Xbox, they have like over 20 studios now under their umbrella. Under the umbrella of Xbox Game Studios. They're not looking to sell. Give me a break. It's ridiculous. It's, it's, it's going to be a make or break for Xbox. The Xbox, you know, brand, if you want to call it, that they don't have Call of Duty, right? Who says, you know? Ah, Call of Duty has got to be a big cash cow for Sony. And Microsoft wants to know why. And I think if Sony is going to challenge them, I think that they have a right to know those details. Xbox didn't have to make a deal with Nintendo. They didn't have to make a deal with NVIDIA. I mean, sure, does it help their case? Yeah, it definitely does. But they didn't have to do that, but they did. I don't see Sony doing that. I don't see, I don't see Microsoft, excuse me, I don't see Sony offering the same, you know, deals that Microsoft is. And there you have it, folks. Sony does not want Microsoft to acquire Activision Blizzard, specifically Call of Duty. Sony knows that if Microsoft acquires Activision Blizzard, that Microsoft will become a contender in global game sales. And that'll hurt Sony's pocketbook over time. Be sure to check out the Bango Bits playlist for my hot takes on the latest gaming news. What do you think of the ongoing Activision Blizzard saga? Leave a comment down below. While you're leaving a comment on Activision Blizzard on the way down, make sure you like this video, share this video, subscribe to DadBot Gaming, and finally, enable notifications so you know when all new content is dropping on the channel. Thanks so much for watching to the end of this video, and I'll see you in the next one.